Hello, my name is Nazir Khan from the Faculty of Civil Engineering Technology, and I am going to demonstrate uh, the components of an acceptable assignment for statics and strength of material. As you could see, we have a problem on the screen. Now, all of your assignments are done on what we call Red River Problem Paper, which is a grid paper, as you see here. The course name goes in this location. Of course, uh, if you're in the day program, it's statics and strength of material. If you are in the distance education, it is going to be statics or strength of material. One of the two goes into this location. You have to print with block letters. Up here, you're going to put the term that you're working in. And with the day program, you have uh, C1 to 6 or C1 to 7. Or, so then you would put those in there. Your name as a student goes into this location here and you're going to print in block letter. Um, everything that you do write is going to be in block letter printing. You're going to have to have your first and last name here. You're going to place the date that you're going to submit the assignment. And in this case here, you have example two, which is the actual problem that we are working on. It could be question one, 1B, 1A, any of the, but whatever you're working on goes into this particular location here. And I have only one sheet to this assignment. Okay. It is one of one. It could be one of two, one of three, or two of three, any of those. But you have to fill out the, the entire header of the assignment. The next thing that we're going to look at is you have to have the original problem on your problem paper. What I've done, I've used the assignment and I've used a pair of scissors, cut out the actual problem and I paste it on the problem paper. And this will save you some time and it looks very neat also. It looks very professional. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, read the problem and create a problem statement. A problem statement really is what I am going to solve for. Okay, problem statement is what I am going to solve for. Okay, that problem statement happens to be right here. So I'm telling the person who is reading this assignment, I am now going to find, I'm going to find the reactant forces at A and B. Okay, and then after that, if you have any diagrams or so, they have to be drawn with a straight edge. Okay, in this case, I had to create a free body diagram of AB. And I've done that here. Now, as you look at the diagram, you notice there are some numbers with brackets. Okay, so that is what I've already solved for. The work for the for, for coming up with these numbers are down here, and I'll explain that right away. After you've created your diagram and you've gotten your problem paper or your uh, your problem statement, I should say, I went and did my work sequentially. Okay, sequentially, I've done summation of moments and uh, I've underlined the final answer for my reactant at B. I then went and updated the reactant at B. Okay, the next thing I'm going to go and do is solve for the reactant at A, which is the next statement, and I underline that again and then I updated my free body diagram. The last thing that I'm going to do with a, an assignment, I'm going to do a summary. Now, most of our assignment has a summary page, so you don't have to do this part if it has a summary page. But it, if it doesn't have a summary page, you should do a summary at the end of uh, when you finish the, the assignment and you put that summary page right up front. That should be the first page that the instructor sees. Okay. Just a, a quick summary of uh, the assignment again. You're going to fill out all of the headers. The original problem will be in the, the, the problem paper. You could cut it out with the scissors and paste it on. Or you could print it all on and draw all the diagrams with straight edge. You're going to create a problem statement. And you're going to sequentially solve this problem and block in or underline all of your answer. And you are going to have a summary at the end. Okay. Thank you. I hope this helps you with getting started with your assignment.
Bye-bye.